Hello everyone, this is Omar. Welcome to the channel. Uh, this is the continuation of our RSCSA practice exam series. So this is the first question we will be solving. The question is uh, asking us to perform following task on both Node 01 and Node 02. Uh, if you haven't watched my first video on how to set up a lab, I recommend you to watch that video and set up a lab accordingly so that it will help you solve the questions we will be solving throughout this series. Uh, so in this question, it is asking you to perform following task on both nodes, node 01 and node 02. So create a group named RSCSA, create a user named RSCSA9 and make RSCSA as its primary group. Configure passwordless pseudo access for the group RSCSA. So basically it is, it is asking to create your create a group, assign the RSCSA9 user and then uh, create uh, configure the pseudo access for the group. So let's split this into multiple sections. Let's go step by step. Create a group RSCSA. So we will be going and creating the RSCSA. We will perform all the tasks on node 1 first. Then we will complete the task on node 2. So uh, let's go ahead and do it on node 0, 1. Alright, so uh, we are on node 0, 1. So the first thing first, we we'll add RSCSA. Simple. So we created a group called RSCSA. Uh, and then it says create a username RSCSA 9 and make RSCSA as its primary group. So we will add user minus g CSA and the username is RSCSA9. So see this these flags minus g flag. It the meaning of these flags changes with the command. So group add also has minus g flag, but the meaning of that minus g is totally different. So you have to make sure that command you're using the flag uh, well, the meaning of the flag actually changes. So we are using user add minus small g means we are adding this user with minus g flag means this is this will be a primary group. If you use capital G flag out here, it will become secondary group. So just remember that. Please. All right. So we added the group. We added the user and assigned RSCSA as its primary group. All right. So now we will be adding the pseudo access so this one will be configuring pseudo for this group right so let's go into this directory there is one other way as well to configure pseudos but i am i prefer to do it this way much cleaner so we will create go to this direct directory etc sudoers.d we'll create one file called rscsa and we'll add the entry rscsa i will explain you equal to all no password because it's asking for passwordless pseudo privilege so what this command is doing it's adding this group percentage sign means you're adding a group if you're just adding a user don't use the percentage sign in the beginning so we are adding this group to perform all access, all the actions of all privileged actions with no password at all. So any member who, who is any user who is member of this RSCSA group will be having a pseudo access. Okay, so let's go ahead and verify that. So we have already created RSCSA 9 user and assigned RSCSA as its, as its primary group. So let's set the password for RSCSA 9. Welcome hash, welcome hash. All right, so password is set. Now let's switch to RSCSA 9 user. So now we are RSCSA 9 user, as you can see, and our primary group is RSCSA. So RSCSA 9 is uh, part of RSCSA group. Since we have already configured RSCSA group to have pseudo access, let's go ahead and 
verify that if I use sudo minus i, it I can switch to root user. So I become privileged user. I become root user, and it did not ask me for the password because the way we configured sudo. So if I say id, I become root. So I can switch. I can become root if I log in as rcsn9 user. So this completes our configuration for this user but just for the test uh, case just to show you that uh, the group configuration works perfectly fine we will add another user user add minus g we will assign that user to rscsa group test 01 for example let's set the password for test 01 welcome hash Hash. Token updated successfully. So let's switch to test 01. Now I am test 01 user and test 01 is member of RSCS group. Let's see if it can become root without being asked for the password. Yes, it can. So uh, our configuration is working fine. So I will just exit, exit from here. I became root. Let me just remove that user. User dev minus r test zero one. So I'm going to remove that user. We don't need that. All right. So we are done here. Yeah. So let's go ahead and configure the same in not zero two. So we will be adding the group RSCSA. We will be adding the user, user add minus g rscsa rscsa9 password rscsa9 welcome hash welcome hash right, so this has been done now let's go to sudoers file sudoers directory create rscsa file Enter RSCSA group to perform all action with no password being asked for any action. Alright, so the sudo world is configured. Let's switch to RSCSA 9 user. I am now RSCSA 9 user and my group is RSCSA. And I have not zero two. So let's try to switch. It is not asking for your password. You are root. So that configuration is done. So the reason uh, there are two reasons to configure this user. One, it is asking the question. The second reason is we will be using this RSCSA nine user throughout our uh, series for RSCSA practice exam. So make sure that you set up a sudo access properly so that we can perform all the actions for the rest of the series using RSCSA 9 exam. So I have given you this, this note I will put in the description and as always I will be uh, providing you with the reference document as well. It has some more information if you want if you are interested to read. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching and have a good day.